on the left. Not long ago, there were few outside the world of computer science who knew his name. Alan Turing. Now he's regarded as one of the greatest ever Britons and his face goes on the £50 note for the Governor of the Bank of England, a fitting choice. Turing, uh, the outstanding mathematician uh, of the last century um, and a series of accomplishments. He helped end the war two years uh, early, saving uh, millions of lives. Beyond that, uh, he's the father of modern computing, he's the father of artificial intelligence. Virtually everything we use today in our day-to-day -day lives has some, uh, is derived from, uh, from Turing's genius. Our job was to crack Enigma. Well, we've done that. Now for the hard part. Keeping it a secret. The story of his life was the basis of a Hollywood movie, part of a team that cracked the German Enigma code. But the sum of his work was far more even than that great achievement in the once secret, now famous sheds of Bletchley Park. In the field of computer science, he was a pioneer in artificial intelligence, a visionary thinker, and yet forced to live a very secret life. He was a gay man. This was, I mean, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, this was thought something no one really ought to be mentioning, that it was not appropriate to, to talk about, that it was all very unfortunate and a, a black mark, and, and that's completely changed now. Turing joins the ranks of other famous Britons on our currency, Winston Churchill on the £5 note, author Jane Austen on the 10, and painter J.M.W. Turner, due to appear on the new £20 note next year. The only problem for his admirers, how rarely a 50 is ever seen. The tweets I've seen have been saying, really proud of this, but I've never seen a £50 note. Apart from the drug dealers, who you find all over the country, I'm not quite sure how many people are actually going to fit, touch this uh, note. But yeah, there'll be enormous pride, I think, about perhaps seeing Turing on the £50 note, and rightly so. Many would say this is fitting recognition for a man persecuted for his sexuality, who took his own life, but became a symbol in his home city of inclusion and equality. The way Alan Turing lived his life and the way that life came to an end haven't changed. What has changed is this country's attitude towards him and the fact it's possible now to be proud not just of what he did, but of who he was. Damon Green, News at 10, Manchester.